Right, welcome to Karen's Daily Finger Limbering Up Exercise. What inspired me to do this today was I saw this on the internet, um, free to print off. And I love it. I used to love my maths books when I was at school. I was rubbish at maths, but I used to love the books. Um, and it came like this A4 with four on a sheet. And I decided it'd be nice to put one in the ledger page. And I'm not going to be doing my sums, don't get excited. So I cut one of them out anyway, and I thought I'll do it in this little book. Um, I really need to do this today because I'm kind of like, well, I'm not stuck, but I'm, I'm harassed because I'm going to, I'm going away next week. I'm going to Glastonbury, and uh, in my head, I've got a thousand million billion things to do that I can't, I haven't got time to do. But I really have. I'll be finished by Saturday, and I'm not going till Tuesday. So, but I just, you just get in that mode sometimes, don't you? So what I'm going to do is I've cut this one out, and it's this little book. Remember from a week ago, maybe I don't know. I can't remember when I did this little cloud. It was raining, upside down rain. And I'm going to put this on a page. Um, and I thought, what am I going to put with that graph paper? So I was having a look around for monochrome stuff. First of all, I'll just stick it in. I was looking around for monochrome stuff, so I've got a little box where I keep all my little bits for collage, etc. I think I talked about that the other time when I'd worked in this little book. And I found a couple of things, and while I was in that box, I opened the drawer to get this double-sided tape. And I saw something else that I thought I could use, and that's what's inspired me to do what I'm going to do. So I'll just peel this off, and it takes me ages, because because my nails which I'm getting done today I'm a proper uh, I'm not high maintenance trust me but since I started getting them done I got them done once and that was it I was hooked in every other sense of the word there's nothing high maintenance about me at all I walk around in rags trust me right Um. I'd rather stick a needle in my eye than go shopping for clothes. Right, so let's stick this in here. Straight. Okay, so what else I found that inspired me was this. It's a little packet of labels that I had made um, and I put them on my pin cushions and pin pillows when I make them. So it says pin pillow. So I want to put one of these in here. Why? Just well, because I can. Simple as that because I can so why not and I'm thinking put that on there so I need to but then that's going to present a problem in itself because on the back is that but if I'm if I'm clever enough I can stitch it on so it enhances that other page but first of all I'm going to doodle on here well, I'm not going to doodle actually I'm going to cheat I'm going to use stencils and I'm going to write pin on here and colour it in so if I say, do my P up there, it's quite hard to get this book flat, you know, because it's uh, got so much crammed in it. I want to make sure it's straight. So if I do it in pencil first. P for pin, P. Where's the I? It's here. So I'll have this coming off the page at the bottom. That's I, and we'll have the N, N. We'll have that here. Just for an even distribution, hopefully, on the page. In fact, I want something else at the bottom, so what I could do I could pretend that I wanted pin pillow on here so I could put the top of the P for pillow at the bottom here just to finish the page off and in 500 years when I'm dead people will be like what kind of words that that doesn't make any sense well that doesn't matter to me because I know what it means and you know what it means so now I need to like do that in black so will I colour it in Um. Possibly, I think it needs to be solid, but I'm not the best colourer in a, in the world. A three-year-old could do better. A three-year-old, bear in mind, though, has much fewer hang-ups than I've got. 
and probably that you've got one. Not that I'm wanting to insult you and say you've got hang ups. But you know what I mean. I just think that graph paper makes a lovely background. It's different, isn't it? When I think back to school, I used to get more excited about my my workbooks than anything else. Not about the work that I had to go in them, but about the pages. I'm a bit of a stationary addict, uh, if the truth be told. Right, I'll do this one and then just need to stitch that label in. And we'll have a little page. And also, I haven't got any sewing to show you because I'm working on something that I can't show you. So, So I don't know what to do, like, because I can't stop working on that till it's finished now. I've got to keep going with it, so goodness knows what you're going to get tomorrow. I haven't a clue. Can't show you what we're doing in class. Can't show you what I'm embroidering. Right, so there. So that's that first bit. It's, that's simple, isn't it? Dead effective. Right, get my label, get a needle, get some cotton broader, get a sharp needle. Get some cotton abroad. Uh, I don't need a huge amount. And I'm also waiting for my washing machine to finish so I can put the bed in on the washing line because it's a nice day out there. I was stood in the kitchen waiting for it. It kept looking like it was going to finish. I'd still be stood there now and it still won't be finished. Not that you need to know that anyway. Right, so I'll put a knot in this thread. And if I come through, so if I want it kind of low down, so if I come through there, that's just at the edge of that bit of lace that's on the back. I'm only going to do a French knot to hold it in place. I'm not going to do anything more complicated than that. One, two, three. I mean, actually, if my brain was working, I could have pinned it in, couldn't I? Pin, pillow, pin. So I'll fasten that one off. Now that end, that tail of that stitch is sticking out the top of that cloud. Doesn't matter. In fact, there's going to be two ends sticking out now there. It just adds interest to me because this isn't a massive design idea that I'm going to present to somebody really important. It's just sitting on my little shelf in my little house and there's only me ever looks at it until I'm dead. And when I'm dead, if they think it's rubbish, I won't care because I'll be dead. So they can say what they want when I'm dead. I'm not bothered, so, and then get it straight. Well, I want to thank you for this, because you've inspired me to do this. Because I was thinking, as soon as I got up this morning, I put the kettle on, and I was thinking, what am I going to put on my blog today? Make a little video, Karen. Yeah, but what about Karen? And this, from nowhere. So thank you. You feed my creativity. And you force me to think, which is always a good thing. So, knock that off and that's it. Ta-da. Ta-da. And I think actually they look nice on there anyway. They enhance that page, don't they? Well, I think they do. So that simple exercise, another double page spread. So it's getting really full, this little book. Some, like I said, I like more than others. Some pages, that's rubbish, don't know what's going on there. That's absolutely dire. That, I like that. I like that. I like that. I love that, that's my favourite, I think. And that, so, you know. It's lovely. And I was going to make some of these little books to sell. Um, it was in my plan. But I just haven't had time. But maybe I can think about that when I'm at Glastonbury. 
Um, so anyway, so that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow and you know as much as I do about what you're going to see tomorrow. I haven't got a clue. If you think what you're going to see tomorrow before I do, then please let me know. I need all the help I can get.